you are busy as a bee juggling multiple systems to manage your pet store. Don't worry, now you will be able to have a bird's eye view over your whole enterprise. We are proud to present LS Activity with LSNAV, one platform to manage it all. My name is Eckert Gudmundsson. I'm the solution lead for LS Activity, and uh, we will be reviewing the solution today and giving you a live demo, actually. Uh, but before I go into the live demo, uh, there will be a, a few PowerPoints with some introduction to why we are uh, making this solution and, and what problems we are solving with this solution. So, strictly speaking, LS Activity isn't offering functionality that hasn't been around for a long time. There are many so-called best-of-breed solutions out there which solve similar requirements, and some are actually pretty good at that. However, that just brings in another set of issues for the users. These solutions are either completely standalone or somehow integrating to third-party point-of-sale solutions. In best cases, they come with their own point of sale, but then the backend is very basic and missing all the functionality modern retailers consider a must, like loyalty management, flexible campaign man and, and offer management, customer-facing apps, and so forth. And nearly none of them can operate in the cloud as an enterprise solution, if that's where you're heading. Finally, if you're running multiple and not well-integrated solutions, then you will for sure end up having difficulties upgrading and running the risk of facing all your integration issues from scratch. There are those retailers who certainly would love to expand their services and maybe support their retail offerings, especially brick and mortar stores, seeking advantage points, fighting the purely e-commerce retailers. However, in most cases, they are not willing to complicate their IT environment or to increase the training time for new employees, and certainly not to complicate their POS operations. And they are not interested to have new set of products on a completely separate platform with all the issues around that. Retailers and hospitality providers of all sizes have one thing in common, growth. LS Retail and partners have decades of experience helping the smallest companies to size up and the large corporations to continue expanding. LS Retail hybrid option of running on site or in the cloud is a unique offering and the whole solution suite, including LS Activity, is designed with that in mind. Ranging from one location to hundreds, our strong customer base is certainly proof of this. So guys, that, that was the introduction to why we are going down this road with adding LS Activity to our module or to our solution suite. And uh, I want to kind of point out uh, prospect or the segments we, we would cover. So obviously we're aiming this at, at retailers, specialty retailers, especially pharmacy for example, that need uh, appointment mechanism to, to reserve resources and exper experts and equipment. Also for retailers that want to add, add or make use of their kind of expertise, normally these retailers start in some business because of expertise uh, and uh, maybe they want to explore that further and, and uh, make that part of their business. Uh, obvious choices or obvious op possibilities would be salons, uh, path stores uh, with uh, path grooming and path daycare, uh, fitness centers with uh, trainer reservations and, and ongoing uh, classes, so forth, spas and wellness centers, country clubs, with golf, spa. So these would be uh, in, uh, a segment that would be a very good fit for, for this solution. Uh, all retailers as well, but might want to add services as part of their offerings or already have services as part of their offerings. Uh, then again, reserve rights and trips, issuing admissions, for example, in transport and in leisure and museums and so forth. And finally, table reservations. 
and of course there we are aiming for uh, as the back end for the LS hospitality uh, solution where you have the restaurant uh, or, and uh, then we cover the reservation needs for the restaurants. All this possible within this one single platform. Just to make uh, sure that you are aware that this is an LSA NAV add-on. So this is working on LSA NAV. So it works with other modules which, which are part of that offering. For example, loyalty management, uh, staff management, uh, and inventory, sales and inventory on point of sale, obviously. So I'm not going to go in much further into this slide. Uh, most of you are aware of this solution, but LS Activity is, is one more uh, module into that, a part of that suite. So let's take into the actual solution. So what can we manage with LS Activity? So I'm going to start with talking about the products that you can add to your to your uh, retail offerings or you can manage uh, as part of your service operation. So appointments would be the first one. We can cover single or multi-day appointments. That would be kind of the classic ones when you're reserving based on duration or the, based on the duration of the appointment, uh, the resources related to that. Uh, then you have quantity-based appointments like tea times or, or, or trips or, 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 or uh, uh, where you have basically limited limited capacity at a certain time. Uh, then you have, we keep track of, of client details uh, and requirements. So you can actually add any kind of attributes which, uh, which you can uh, enter any kind of information related to the appointment. We support additional sales, so you can have upsells or you can have uh, related items to the, to the service. So they are visible for the user and easy to, to add on to the, to the uh, appointment. Then we track the consumption, so is there some uh, items that are consumed related to, this, to the services? And we can issue tasks, uh, either before or actually all before the, the appointment, during the appointment, and after the appointment. Uh, we keep track of the payments and we can put people on waiting lists if we are, if we are fully reserved or fully booked. Uh, we have a reservation mechanism, me meaning that you can have a single appointment or appointment can be in grouped with other appointments. So you could have group entries or a family reservation, etc. And finally, we obviously, or of course, not obviously, of course, support email confirmation and reminders. Classes, uh, I mentioned that before. So it's easy to set up ongoing uh, appointments that are on specific weekdays and specific time during an, a certain active peri period. Uh, it could have limited capacity. We could schedule and reserve the resources needed to perform that schedule. And then we can keep track of the client details. Uh, the additional sales, I, I can see the blue yoga mats are pretty popular there. And then uh, we keep track of payment and waiting lists sent out emails, confirmation and reminders. So very different product, but we keep track of it within the same, same structure. Uh, the third product uh, would be courses. Uh, what's the difference be between a course and a class, you might ask? Our definition of course is, some, is a reservation that's uh, set for specific dates and time and you want to keep track of the participants uh, related to uh, that are taking part in that course. Uh, you want to have also a schedule behind this when the course uh, sessions will take place, description of the sessions, and reserve the related resources to that. Uh, unlike the others, everything has in common keeping track of client details, additional sales, track payments, and emails. Again, Always the same structure, but different approach using the settings in, in the solution.
And finally, we support ticketing, uh, meaning that any product can issue a ticket and issue an admission registration or ticket re registration. So you have a mechanism we call scripts, where you can set up scripts and completely dynamically pick up the fields from uh, from uh, from NAV or from LS, set up the 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 layout of the ticket. Uh, normally, the, uh, special kind of ticketing printers that understand certain script language. So this is quite possible. You can also use just Word templates uh, and use the standard NAV uh, template mechanism to create uh, whatever output you need that should be printed when, when you sell this product. So these were kind of the main uh, components or main elements of, of the solution regarding products. And uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how what we can do with these products. So obviously we can sell them, we can reserve them in the back end. You can reserve upfront uh, any kind of activity and pay it later at the POS. Or you can sell it at the POS and at the same time the actual activity, may that be appointment, class, course, uh, or a ticket, uh, or, or a combination of those. So you can sell these products on the POS, you can pay these products on the, on the POS, and you can do the, all the reservation in the back end as well. But the core design we, and the core idea is that simplicity at the POS and all the products are supported the same way at the POS as at the back end. But very, very simple to operate and really make sure that nearly none, no extra training is needed at the POS to sell these products because we don't want to complicate the retailers processes at the POS but we want to keep these uh, services available there. Some of them are, are quite complex as products but, but uh, make sure that the process of selling them and reserving at the POS is kept simple. Uh, other options in the solution, of course, uh, as an operator or user of this, you, you would want all the numbers. You want the number of appointments, the amounts, how busy are you going to be next week, how busy are you going to uh, this resource is going to be next weekend, how many appointments does this client has next week, etc., etc. All these options are quite dynamic that the users can set up these summaries any way they want and uh, they can place what we call these fact boxes here you see a sample of the fact box so you can place these fact boxes on the location card on the resource card product card and client card basically see it where you need it i mentioned table reservations earlier and uh, the LS activity is is going to be the back end for the table reservations in LS hospitality. So you will have table reservations, table reservations, excuse me, at the POS and at in LS hospitality for the restaurants. Uh, but as a back end for that, LS activity is going to be the module, or is the module. Uh, that means that you have all the possibilities of uh, any kind of math of reservation method. So, for example, common one would, would be reserving tables by table type, uh, two, two person table, four person table, etc. You can also do it by waves or dining periods, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, or even down to individual table, which I don't think is very common though. Uh, also, that means you can include table reservations as part of other reservations. So you might have a spa reservation, golf reservation, or any, any kind of reservation. When I mention these product types, I'm not excluding or including any kind of, of business segment. I'm just using those as a sample. So you can include other reservations or multiple type of reservations and multiple type of activities, sorry, in one reservation. So table reservation can be booked with, with everything else. So Alice Hospitality then takes this reservation down to the pause and has the table management part. So I just want to emphasize the table management part is not 
part of LSX activity, it's just done that LSX hospitality that could be uh, presented in another on a, another demo later. But just to make sure LSX hospitality and LSX activity are sharing their reservation mechanism. So to sum it up, uh, in one slide, reservation and appointments, ticketing, simple rental support, meaning that you can sell products that are based, uh, pricing is based on the duration, and you can have the re use the reservation as a, some, uh, as, a, as a rental contract. You have classes and ongoing rights. You have courses. These are all the things I, I was talking about earlier. And then you can also use this as, as an event scheduler. For example, for restaurants that is booking multiple rooms uh, for parties, etc., reserving the resources and uh, preparing the food and beverage. So, so all these here are not just in one slide; they are in one single structure. So when I say single structure, it doesn't mean I'm not talking about the NAV platform as such as a single structure, I'm talking about the reservation mechanism and the product structure in LS activity is single structure coping with all these products in, these, in this slide. So I'm going to go into a live demo and I'm going to start with uh, talking about a little bit about the structure uh, this, which, which I mentioned before, this single reservation structure for all these type of, pro of products. Uh, then I'm going to talk about the role center. I'll show you the role center and go a little bit through that. And finally, I'm going to go through some reservations, do the, the do them on the back end, and then I'm going to do them on the on the front end or at the POS. So I, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the actual products later, but let's just start with with uh, talking about the structure. So, oops. So, this is the Alice Activity Role Center. And uh, before I go into the details, what, what the solution is showing you here, I'm going to talk about the structure. And we use uh, a reservation as the container for all activities. And a typical appointment, if we, if we just take a look at one single appointment like here, a spa reservation. So you have a reservation header and you have lines. So if you just have a single appointment, like in this case, somebody's going for 30 minutes massage, it, it still has a reservation as, as the container and the activity is just a single line here in the, in the reservation. That means you can add actually more activities into this this uh, reservation. Uh, however, when I'm creating a single appointment in the back end, I, I, I don't have to create a reservation. The system will just ma automatically create that for you. We'll see that when I go through the, through the samples. So this would be typical uh, appointment. So if you take a look at another completely different uh, event, or, or like in this case, a, a course, so this is an advanced photo course I'm having. It's starting on 1st of October. And these are the participants. So you see each, each participant here is a line in the reservation. I can set the schedule of this course here. We have uh, the, the sessions, basically each session. And then the, the, the resources uh, or the rooms, uh, trainers, etc., related to the event. So we have the same structure, but now I'm just taking care of a course instead of an appointment. And this final one, uh, completely different, but still quite nicely fitting into this uh, structure. Let's say here I have Sabrina, uh, Sabrina Garcia's birthday, and she's reserving some uh, some uh, room, and she has. Uh, so we have here the activity of the event, uh, if you take a look at this room rental here, and you have a description of the event, and you can add actually to this room rental additional charges. That might be the food and beverage. You could set up schedule, maybe you need to prepare the room or on, and uh, set up the room, etc., which can be set up as a schedule. So again, completely different product, but still fitting 
perfectly into the same structure. Uh, so let's take a look at the role center. So I hopefully got, so you managed to see the reservation structure and then the activities as part of a reservation. Uh, so the, uh, the role center, if we start to, sh to look at the cues here, which is these tiles here. So the, the idea behind the role center is that this could be, for example, a reception at the location, or this could be a, a backend for a reservation agent, or this simply is might be a manager's view of what's going on in their their active location. So I have a single location I'm looking at. We support multi locations, just like LS Retail uh, support multiple stores. In the same manner, we, we support multiple locations in the in in the uh, activities. So I'm just uh, managing here a single location. The today's activities is the activities which are today. So these are the ones arriving today, and I, you can see I'm, I'm running quite flexible business. I'm having uh, dog days, daycare, and massage going on here. So I have unpaid activities. That's that's what what hasn't been paid up to up to the date. So these are the ones I have to keep an eye on. And then I have draft reservations. That's just stuff I'm working on. That could be events or courses or, reser or reservations. Uh, new activities, that's everything I created today. So this is just uh, appointments I actually made today, this morning. Uh, cancelled activities, luckily I haven't cancelled anything, so this is what was cancelled today. Not for today, but done, Can the cancelling was done today. Active promotions, uh, we have a special promotion mechanism, we can set up special prices for loyalty members. We can set these prices, uh, for example, for happy hours for, for golf, for example, or massage, or whatever the, the product, product is. So. We want to uh, put these promotions in the kind of in the face of the manager, so they see, or the booking agent, so they can see what's what's going on in the prom on the promotion side. Admission tracking—that's just uh, uh, all uh, all tickets that were uh, controlled today or, or or checked today. If we have admission and tasks. Tasks are just everything that should have been done or or already by today or or should be done today. So basically, I tick, I close these tasks, and these tasks are issued by the by the solution when we sell a product or make appointment. So these queues here or tiles give you a very good indicator of what's going on in in your location. Uh, the middle section here, the product se session, has the all your products, and of course, based on the user, you might have a limited view on uh, on what products you you can see. You can also have products that are only applicable for one location and not another one. So this view here is depending on on the user what they they're actually allowed to see. Uh, so. You can choose to view the products here as uh, uh, as uh, by in a, an alphabetic list or just by activity type. So I can just use a kind of tree mechanism to search for the product, or just use uh, the code. And then you can also view the same thing for, as resource. So you can see this from the resource point of view. Uh, if that's, uh, uh, for example, if uh, uh, yeah, like uh, Jessica and what the product she can do, and then I can sell the product based on the, that resource. But I'm gonna sell the make a reservation based on products. So when you click on a product, like in this case, uh, dog daycare, for example, then we have the availability here in the lower section. So the availability is just for this particular product. And you can see, I can just scroll down, or I can go to a certain date. 
uh, and I can see the availability here in, based on the interval settings, what the intervals are in this availability view. So I can see I'm selling this product by the hour, so I want to see the intervals here by the hour. But I'm going to, so basically depending on product, you see then the availability here. And those, the red lines here, that means that uh, it's actually either reserved or it's uh, before the date, so you cannot reserve it. So this is kind of very core view of your availability. Here on the, this session, section, you see your res current resources. If they're available, their next appointment. And, uh, and finally, depending on the product you choose, you can see in graphics uh, the uh, appointment load of, of that product. So in this case, uh, the massage product, uh, how many appointments I have. I can also see this based on amounts, persons, quantities, or count. So that's just depending on my settings here. Uh, so from the role center, you can then list the reservations. You can go to the activities, which are basically the single appointments. Uh, then you have the products. Then you have your resources. Then you have your clients. So the clients are shared with the member management. So we have all the benefits of the loyalty management module. We have the the point and the sales tracking of the loyal of the loyalty members, and we also have, like I mentioned before, this activity summary, which is completely user defined to see the number of appointments, etc., and the, the activity status of this this particular client. So this was kind of the, the core access to the to the back end. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a reservations and I'm going to do these four products here, which are very, very different in nature. If you look at them, you normally wouldn't see product, pr these products on the same slide. So these are very, very different. Uh, you have dog daycare which is sold as an hourly service. We only allow 20 dogs to be at the same time. We are pricing it based on number of hours. And we like to have uh, to register any instructions from the owners. There might be uh, feeding instructions, etc., from the owners. Uh, the second product is this typical 30 minutes appointment, which like a spa appointment. But they, of course, it could be any kind of appointment. So it's a half an hour appointment. We need to us reserve a room, and the room is going to be automatically reserved uh, based on the capabilities of the room. And then we want to manually select the human resource because in this case, we, we the person sometimes have their preferences, and they you, you want to be able to select it manually. Of course, with any kind of activity, you can always change resources afterwards. That's not a problem. But in this case, we also want to add on or offer some additional items related to the massage. The third item is an ongoing class, which is on Mondays and Wednesdays, 7 a.m. for early birds. So it has limited number of seats per session, uh, and we are selling its, its registration. So the final one, again, is completely different. There we have a course. It's a, the professional photo shooting course, which I actually showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, we have uh, maximum 20 participants. We had the, uh, 10 sessions at the time, but we just need to make that one uh, a point or reservation. And it all, has already reserved a room and a, a room and a trainer. I, that's already reserved when we actually prepared that, <coughs> excuse me, the course. Uh, so I'm going to go back to, to my LS activity and uh, I'm going to sell these products from the back end. And then I'm going to show you exactly the same from the POS. So if you start with the dog take care, I'm just going to select the dog take care. And we see the availability here. We have, we allow 20 dogs to be at the same time. So I have plenty of space now. I'm, so I have a two o'clock appointment, and I just hit here new activity. 
uh, it wants a client, it, it, depending on the product, I will have to register who the client is. And I have this search screen where I can search by name, number, address, email, etc. Or I could be creating a new client if I don't find them in, in my loyalty uh, list or in my, in my member list. So I'm just going to select something here just to make it easy. And now I actually have the uh, the dog take care appointment. So by default, it's just one hour from three. In this case, from two o'clock to three o'clock, I can change the owner is going to stay for three. Ask me for three hours. So when I change the quantity, it actually updated the time at the same time. So we got the task schedule here. Clean up the, the room afterwards and we can enter a feeding instructions here if there are any special feeding instructions. In this case there are none so I'm just going to hit OK. So it made the reservation, it created this uh, activity and it's confirmed. So we can see the two o'clock session here we have a two o'clock space we have one uh, and we, we, we have taken one space off our availability availability until uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, so that's w one type of product. This We were only making the reservation. Uh, the same goes for uh, a typical appointment like massage. I'm just going to select uh, some free space here I have on Thursday. One thing nice feature here, if I'm searching for time for the client and they say, okay, I need a time, any, any time between uh, three, uh, let's say three and five o'clock uh, in the next two days. So what I can do, I can just click on a line here, I can color the or shade the area just like this and I can say time range. So then it would only show me this time range for the days ahead. So it's a really nice way of looking for for uh, for, t for available session. So in this case they, they want to go on the 24th, I have two spaces left here with this kind of appointment so I'm just going to give them that appointment uh, that's spread here and we have the appointment we have the offered additional items they want the blue lagoon cream so I'm going to add that to the uh, to the reservation and I hit OK so this case uh, this is the massage if you remember it, I talked about it it, it was going to reserve the location or the room automatically but you can select the, the the therapist so she wants to use Linda so I'm going to pick up Linda so create appointment is created and uh, the reservation is made uh, so I have to speed up I'm gonna go straight to the professional photo shooting course so here somebody wants to participate in this course here advanced photo photo class and now the available view here is showing me the sessions uh, when when this class is, or course is starting and I have uh, 17 participants uh, availability for 70 participants more in this on the Sunday on the, on the course that's starting on Sunday 10th of October so I'm gonna add this person as a participant so new activity again select or create the, the client, pick up the client, and now I have a registration to this to this course. So, so selling all these products may they be different in nature. They they the process here was all always the same. It doesn't matter if it's a course class appointment, etc. Always the same same uh, method. Uh, now I'm going to switch to the POS. I'm just going to do the same, exactly the same thing on the POS. Uh, so I'm going to, I can put buttons on the POS with the, with the specific products or I can sell them just from a list. In this case I'm going to sell them uh, based on the buttons here. I'm going to sell uh, dog daycare like the first product I had before. I'm just selling the same products as we as we did the reservations before. So I'm gonna select the date, the number of hours in this case, 
and then I get the availability. So I get the list of availability, select the availability, the time, uh, time and date of the reservation, hit OK. Uh, now it wants the customer. Just to mention, I could have swiped uh, uh, the loyalty member's card and picked up the customer up front. If I don't do that, it will force me to select from a list or I could have a button here to create a new one if this person is not registered. But I'm gonna just select OK. So, so now it actually reserves space in the dog daycare, two hours, and uh, it tells us here the appointment number, the reference, and the date and time. And I'm just gonna cash, cash this out through the pause, and this is gonna be posted and, and finalized. So selling this is just the same as any other, other kind of product. Uh, I'm gonna do the same uh, with a little bit more complex product, the massage 30 minutes. Uh, just gonna start the sale, massage 30 minutes. Same thing, select the date, hit the date. Uh, I get now list of, of uh, availability. So the list of availability, it shows me the data selected, but it would also show me a little bit further. So I don't, if I don't have availability that date, I can just scroll down or, or, or search for a date on the pause here. I'm gonna just pick up a time, and as you can see, I have you also see the availability here. But on the pause, it will only show me actually when I have availability. So it, it, all these entries are showing actual availability. So I hit OK. I'm gonna have appointment here, one o'clock. Uh, asking, asking for the client like before, and if you remember, this product allowed you or wanted you to select the resource. So it's now asking me what therapist, and it would show me the list of available therapists. I just have one available, so select that one. Again, the same before, this product was set to offer additional products. Uh, I'm gonna select the Blue Lock on Boon Cream again. And uh, then this is all pulled into the POS and we can just finalize this sale like any other sale. So very, very simple to operate this on the pause, even though this was quite complex product with the selecting resource, uh, adding additional items. And now uh, I wanna sell a participant into the photo course, the last product we had there before. So I'm gonna select the photo course Start the sale, photo course. Now it shows me the only the dates this course is starting. And I, I'll tell the client, hey, I have a course on the 1st of October. It's starting at six o'clock and we, I have availability there. So I can add you to this course. Client says yes. I would pick up the client or like I said, I could scan the client up front if I have the client standing in front of me. And uh, now I've just basically uh, added this person to that to that uh, course. So if we would go to to the back end again, we would have all these reservations here at the top, and we could see uh, they are just created as as uh, the same way as I had created them in the back end. Just to sh show you here, the tiles are showing me. Uh, how many resources or which resources are reserved for this particular appointment, the total charges, any additional charges, the balance, if it hasn't been paid, it would show us the balance, the number of persons, history is the, the history of this particular client, and then I can see that this uh, appointment has been confirmed, and actually we can see the transaction, which is the actual post transaction, which finalized this. So I can actually drill down to the transaction needed. On the pause, you can have various functionality. You can open the reservations. You can, you can pay obviously reservations as well. So you could pay, um, pay reservations that are uh, outstanding. So if you make reservations in the back end or as a reservation agent, it would be picked up at the POS and paid. So going back to my slides. So this was uh, the live demo. I still have 50 minutes, so I have to go a little bit faster through the rest of the slides. So these were the products. So I hope you saw how 
very, very simple. It's to sell these quite complex products in many ways to underpass. But underpass, really, really smooth and nearly no training needed for, for the pass users. It's just like selling any other product. Uh, so let's get down to business. Uh, what are the prices? Uh, price for this module has a little bit, bit been changed since uh, connection. We had uh, discussions and we compared the pricing to our prospects and we decided uh, we want to lower the price for the smaller type of prospects with and uh, base it on POS. So if you have a small prospect that single locations, one or two POSs, then this is a really, really nice price of $400 per POS. Uh, and for larger cli clients, it's a little bit more, but not that much more. Uh, uh, if you have, just a note, if you have quoted uh, to any client on the previous pricing, which was price per store, we will, of course, honor honor the original pricing if that price might, might be low, the, your quoted price is lower than than it would be according to the new structure. But I emphasize that this structure is much more fair towards a uh, smaller type of, of, of prospects. Uh, as a subscription price, nine dollars per POS per month. Uh, the objects and documentation is already available at the partner portal. So you can download this into either NAV 2016 or NAV 2017. So this is, is FOBs for either version. And of course, LS NAV has to be already installed there. And uh, just to note uh, this, on technical notes, this doesn't change any standard objects and this doesn't change any LS objects. So it's completely standalone as such. Uh, as a release uh, documentation, we include the setup manual in PTF format. Online help with, will be available at later stage, but uh, you have to settle with a uh, setup manual for the time being. So this would be pricing and the release details. I just want to inform you, we will have a one-day training in, on 25th of October uh, in Iceland uh, for uh, uh, using our new uh, facilities, LS Academy, at the head headquarters in Iceland. Uh, it will be priced at 500 euros for the, for the one-day training per person. But we, as a release offer, we're, we're including one more one day of staff management training as well, for free. So if you book before 1st of October, we will throw in a free LS staff management training. Uh, and uh, uh, that's not a coincidence. We we add staff management there because LS activity can work in staff with staff management meaning if you have the staff or the employee rosters in the staff management, that can provide availability of your employees in LS activity. So these modules work nicely together. It's not a requirement, but optional that, uh, that these modules can work together. So I urge partners especially to, to send a consultant to this uh, training because this module is very, very flexible and uh, you can cover uh, all kinds of businesses uh, with this module, but it, it has some setup, uh, minor setups to do, but so it's, it's very good to know the module. So what's the status and where are we heading? So we promised to release this solution in September and now we're releasing a robust multi-purpose reservation engine. So that was the promise we made this spring and that's the promise we kept. Uh, we also have a basic ticketing in place. So we think we have a very nice core foundation to take this to the next step. Uh, of course, you have rich functionality now. There's 
number of prospects you can can sell or, or number of type of companies that can use this product at this stage. But we're going to take it even further. We're going to enhance the core features. We're going to add, for example, just to give you an example of a nice feature, pre-sales, what we call pre-sales. You can take any product in Alice Activity, set the price, bulk price on it. So if I, for example, uh, dog daycare, if, if you buy 10 hours up front, uh, then you can get a special price, and we will keep track of the redeeming of those hours. And that you can then offer this kind of uh, pricing, basically pre-pricing, so to speak, and re then redeeming the, the actual appointments uh, one by one. That can be done very smoothly at the past. The, the customer, if you just swipe the customer's card, the system will know the status and, and uh, you can sell, like I said, any product in this kind of bulk uh, just by setting up the price structure. Uh, we will add more functionality around the events. We will add C uh, links to the standard NAV CRM. We will allow you to create a NAV quote or NAV invoice based on the res event reservation. And we will allow you to use the point of sale for gathering the food and beverage information and pull it into the event. So we will add functionality to the event part and we will add e-tickets to the ticketing part, meaning when you sell a ticket, you can either choose to print them out uh, as paper or we can, we can just ship them out as e-tickets. And one big thing we're adding is some member subscription management, basically a subscription module where you can have charge your loyalty members monthly fee as a subscription fee. That could be, for example, for health clubs, uh, country clubs, etc. So it's a big piece and it's uh, going to be part, all this is part of the base um, LS activity module. And just to mention it, uh, in before our in connection, we talked about having two granules, uh, uh, LS activity base and LS activity uh, enterprise, but uh, that's not going to be the case. We will just have all functionality within the, the base granule. So there's no, uh, there's no need to buy a base or an, uh, or an enterprise granule. It will include all the functionality in one granule and one price. Uh, and finally, we will have uh, the release three in, in quarter one in 2018 with the web bookings and with the graph, with also a graphical availability matrix uh, for the availability if needed. So this is the road forward. Uh, and this is the end of my, my presentation. Uh, I hope you uh, liked what you saw. I think it's a really robust, nice solution, and I'm 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 uh, sure we will we will be selling uh, and getting a lot of users for for this product. So, guys, thank you for attending the LS Activity Release Webinar. Bye bye.